Hi everybody, welcome to A World of Colour with Prism, the brand new range from Hunky Dory Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how you can create some really cool backgrounds just by adding some water to your Prism ink pads. So we're going to just build our background up first of all. So I'm going to use three different shades of blues for this one. So I'm going to use our Arctic Mist, our Blue Lagoon and then we're going to finish off with the French Navy just to add that darker shade in there as well. So we're going to apply the ink onto our ink pad and just create our sort of background effect. Okay, so what I want to do here is sort of get our Arctic Mist sort of more central for this piece. So I'm not too worried about the sides, but I want to build up that colour in the centre. So I'm going to do almost like a, a sort of radiating out into the darker shades. Then we can get our Blue Lagoon. So I'll just take in another tool and another sponge. This one's going to then go just around the edges. And just grab a piece of scrap cardstock or paper just to cover up where you're going to be holding so you don't get your inky fingers into it. It doesn't matter so much if you're doing all of one colour, but if you're you know, working with some darker shades like we are now, you don't necessarily want some dark fingerprints in the centre of your paper shade. So I'll just put that in there and again just taking our Arctic Mist and just working into that darker shade there, that blue lagoon. And then we're going to just go around the very edges with our French navy. So I'll just grab the tool with the sponge, just pick up some of that ink. And again, and I'm just going to really just gently bring this in at the edges. So you can see what this does. It doesn't add a huge amount of colour, but it just finishes off, you know, compared to the other three sides, you've got so much more depth of colour just by adding that little edge of that dark, that uh, navy blue there. It's just beautiful. So just all the way around. And just doing it around the edges like this and sort of having that gradient flowing out from the centre it really pulls you in, draws you into that card it just gives such a cool effect so just taking that all around the outside then we'll just go back in with our blue lagoon Put that out of the way and then just building that shade up and then just finally use all the tools there if I'm not careful a little bit of our Arctic Mist just in the centre here just to fill in any white areas. So once we've created this really cool background we can use it as it is but I'm going to show you how we can add some water onto here to give it um, sort of like a, a speckled look if you will. So I'll just pop all the ink pads out of the way. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. With our spritzer we can just undo it because what I want is some big droplets first of all. So I'm just going to literally drop some of that ink onto here. Okay, so it doesn't matter particularly where it goes or how big the splats are, where the splats are, or anything at all. And can you see how that water is bleaching that ink out straight away? And we're leaving, if we leave that to dry now, what they do, the water will sort of disperse into the ink and creates a really organic sort of look with the ink and the bleaching. So I'm just going to place a bit of kitchen roll over here and what that will do now is to stop that ink from going any further. It will pick up all the water and stop it spilling out anymore. Then we can also spritz. So when you're spritzing, if you spritz really close you'll get a more intense finish of your water. If you do it further away you get finer droplets of water on there. So just by adding that water and again just spritzing onto here and then taking it off you can see how it just picks up really really fine detail with the water but it gives you such a cool effect and then if you want to you can take a paintbrush as well so you can take some bigger splats so just tap in the paintbrush and then if we pick that up straight away, it stops them sort of going out into our cardstock even further. And you can build up loads of really cool colours. And then if you want to, 
you can always go back in and add a bit more colour on the top. You know, if you're not quite happy with how it's looking, if you want to just, you know, just finish the edges off a little bit more, you can just go in with that as well. Um, but there's all sorts of really cool backgrounds you can create with the water. So have a go, have a play and see how you get on. Now, once you've mastered that sort of technique of the background with the water droplets, we can create a really cool um, sort of galaxy background. So I'm going to I'm going to use the same colours actually. So I'm going to use our blue lagoon first of all. So this doesn't matter now. We're just putting random colours into random places. Okay. So you might be watching this thinking, what on earth are we doing? But bear with, it'll all make sense. So I'm going to go with that and then I'm going to go with some purple. So think about all the different colours that you tend to see in sort of skies and um, you know if you were to search for the galaxy background on the internet, all the different colours that you'll get. So I'm going to go with some of our purple velvet in here as well and then pop some more over here. And then I'm going to go back to our French navy and get that really dark shade in there as well. There we go. I mean, it's looking pretty cool anyway. But what we're going to do next, we're going to just give it a little blast with our heat tool. So I like to make sure that this part's nice and dry. So I'll just move all of our inks out of the way. Give this a blast. And again, you can just leave this to dry at home while you move on to the next step. Or maybe you're doing a couple of these backgrounds and you're you know, a bit of a batch making. Get all these done all in one go. So it doesn't have to be completely dry. We just want to give it that blast. Is anywhere where your colour is quite dense. There we go. Let's clear up under here. And then we're going to take our black and I'm going to go and direct to my cardstock first of all. So I'm just going to sort of add our black onto here. So just covering all those colours up that we've just popped on there. Just get a little bit of kitchen mold there again just to cover up. And then just with your tool, just because you if you've got any sort of areas where you've just got like a little edge of the ink pad, you just need to blend in. We can just take our blended tool and just really blend that black in there. Okay, so it's looking pretty cool already, you know, when you think sort of galaxies, you get that sort of mix of colours in the sky. So that's why we put all those colours underneath, so that you can get that little hint of colour coming through. And then we're just going to repeat that same technique. So a little bit of our spray bottle, just splatter onto here. And again, what this is going to do is bleach that colour out. So it's going to bleach out the black, but it's, then it's going to sort of show some of those shades underneath as well. I'm going to get a little bit with the paintbrush. I don't want to do too many big spots because these are sort of little stars, you know, little planets in our galaxy all in the background there. But again, we're just going to lift that water now with our kitchen roll and I'm just going to give this a spritz as well because what that does it almost looks like loads of tiny little particles on the background there and again just lift that up and then you end up with that super cool sort of colour effect you end up with all the little sort of 
they just look like stars or little planets in the galaxy there and that's just a really cool background you know maybe whether you use that uh, you know with some space stamps or you use it to do some stamping on to or a little bit of calligraphy anything at all it just creates a super cool background for you as your base so i hope you've enjoyed um, the, those techniques there and i do hope it's something that you'll try at home we'd love to see your makes um, and i hope you can join us next time for some more videos